Hello everyone, this is going to be the 8.4 video, um, which is I can find a pattern and write an equation for a geometric sequence. Let's jump in. Um, all of geometric sequences is a series of numbers increasing or decreasing by a common ratio. So what that means is, if you look at the example below, we have 4, 12, 36, 108. We have um, a common ratio. We are multiplying the same number every single time to get to the next number. Uh, so you can see here, it's my little, this is supposed to be a little multiplication symbol, but you can see that we are multiplying by three every single time. All right. So um, that's what happens in a geometric sequence. We can multiply by a number like three or four or whatever. We can multiply by um, negative numbers. We can multiply by uh, fractions as well. But essentially what's going on there is we have a uh, common ratio where we multiply the previous number by the next number. So a little different than arithmetic sequences where we add it or subtract it. Um, here's the formula for it. I would definitely put this in your notes. Um, y equals a times b to the x power. The a is the first term in the sequence. The b is going to be the common ratio. So for that last one, if we went and looked at that one, uh, the 4 would be your first number and the 3 um, would be your common ratio. So we would, if you know, we were doing that previous one, it would be y is equal to our first number is a times our common ratio of three to the x power. All right. Now x is an interesting thing right here. So this is something we'll talk a little bit about here. X is the number of times you multiply the common ratio. All right. So if we want to find the 10th term, we're going to use a nine for x because we're multiplying the first term nine times. Uh, we could also just do x minus 1. So there are some times that people, instead of having an x there, they might write the equation like this. All right, a times b to the x minus 1. Now, the reason I don't give you guys that equation is because on our MCA sheets and things like that and, and everything in the 8th grade math world, uh, they have an x right there. But understand that x is how many times we are multiplying the common ratio. So if I ask you to find the 7 term, you would actually do 7 minus 1. We would put a 6 in for x. All right. And we'll, we'll go through some examples of that and you'll see. So um, this formula, again, I wouldn't worry about that. You know, don't don't write that one down. Just understand that's kind of what, you know, some other, if, if you looked up sequences, you might see that formula other times. So let's try this one. So um, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to um, kind of do these four things when you do a geometric sequence is I'm going to ask you to write down the common ratio, uh, the next three terms, uh, what is the equation, and I'm going to ask you to find the 10th number. So I'm going to walk you through uh, this particular example here. So the common ratio, you just are looking for the pattern there. What are we multiplying by every single time? Uh, for this particular one, we would say the common ratio is 5 because we're taking 2 times 5 to get to 10, 10 times 5 to get to 50, and so on. All right. So to find the next numbers, all you got to do is um, grab your calculator and we're going to do 50 times 5 and we would get 250. So that would be the next number. Uh, then we would take that times 5 and we would get 1,250. And we would make take that number times 5 and we would get 6,250. And those are going to be your next three numbers of the sequence. All right. Uh, what is the equation of the sequence? All right. I'm just going to write that right down here. Y is equal to, first number is 2, common ratio is 5, we're going to put an X there. Easy as that. Uh, the tenth number in the sequence. Now, think about this here. So we have the first number, the second number, the third number. I'm going to show you why this works right here. All right, here would be the, this is the fourth number, the fifth number, the sixth number, right? That, we can understand that here. So to get, let's just look at how we get to the fifth number right here. How many times did we multiply by 5? Well, let's see here, we multiplied... 2 times 5, that's 1 time. Then we did 10 times 5, that's 2 times. Um, and then we did 50 times 5, that was 3 times to get there. And then 4 times right there, we get to 1,250. All right. So if we wanted to find the fifth number, I'll prove to you that we get um, 1,250. So if I grab my calculator here and I take 5 and I go to the exponent of 4, that means I multiplied it 4 times. I get a number of 625. Then I multiply that by the original number and I do get the 1,250, all right? So if I'm asking you to find the 10th number, hopefully you're thinking I need to put a nine in for X because I'm going to multiply by nine times. So I'm going to grab my calculator. So if to find the 10th number, we're putting a nine in here. We're, we're doing 10 minus one. All right, so we'd go five to the ninth power and you get a pretty large number and then you're going to take that and double it. 
because that's our first number. And here's our value for the, the tenth number. 3906250. We'll put commas in the right spot. Looks like we get the number 3,906,250. All right. So that is what we're doing. So uh, this slide looks very sloppy right now, but here's the deal. Find the common ratio. That would be five. Find the next three numbers. Those would be those numbers right here that I just circled. Here's your equation. All right. And here's your final answer. So those three, four sort of things I circled, those are kind of your answers right there. Um, so if you try one, so here's another sequence. So I want you to try it. Pause the video here. All right. Pause it. Try to do those things. Um, and I will, um, when you unpause it, you'll see me doing them. All right. Hopefully we're back live now. Um, Common ratio for this one looks like because the numbers are getting smaller, we're going to have a fraction here. Uh, one way we could do this is, you know, if I go back to the previous slide, you know, to get to, to figure out the common ratio was five, I could do 10 divided by two and that would give me five. So for this one, if I wanted to take 500 divided by a thousand, that would give me the common ratio. All right. So in this case, the common ratio is a half. We're actually multiplying by one half everything, every single time. All right. So what are the next three terms? Uh, we're going to take 250 times a half, which would be 125. All right, we're going to take 125 times a half, and we're going to get 62.5. And then we'll take 62.5 times a half, and we get 31.25. All right, so those are the next three numbers in the sequence. What is the equation? Um, I'll just write it down here again. Y is equal to our first number was 1,000. Our common ratio was a half. And we'll just write to the x power. Easy, simple. Uh, find the tenth number. What do we plug in for x again? We don't put in a ten. We're going to put in a nine because it's not. We're multiplying it nine times, so we're doing ten minus one. So I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go 0. 0.5 to the ninth power, and I get a decimal. And then I'm going to multiply that by my original number of a thousand. And here would be the tenth number in the sequence: one point nine five three one two five. All right. Hopefully you did okay on that. Hopefully you did okay. Um, here's another one. Why don't you guys pause it? Um, and uh, when you unpause it, um, I'll have the answers here. So pause right now. All right, hopefully we're back live. Common ratio. One way we could do this is we could take negative 9 divided by 36, and we get negative 1 fourth. So your common ratio is negative 1 over 4. The next three numbers in the sequence, I'm just going to grab my calculator here and do that. So negative 2.25 times negative 0.25 gives me this negative 0 0.5625. Then I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.25 or negative 0 0.25 and I should get a positive. I get 0 0.140625 and then we'll have one more number here. So then I'll take that times negative 0 0.25 and I get negative 0 0.0 three, five, I'm just going to round. Okay. It does go on farther than that. So those are the next three numbers in the sequence. What's the equation? Y is equal to your first number, your common ratio to the X power. And again, if you want to find the 10th number, let's plug a nine in for X um, and see what we get here. So I'm just going to do this in my calculator here. Um, let me make sure I put this in parentheses here, negative 0.25 raised up to the ninth power again is equal to uh, decimal. And then we're going to multiply that by 36. And I'll write out the whole thing here. I get negative. So the 10th number in the sequence is 0 0.1231373293229. So that's what our answer looks like. Hopefully you did okay with that. Hopefully you did okay. Um, this slide talks about the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequences. Um, if you want to, you can pause it and try this on your own. Uh, we know arithmetic sequences are where we, where we add or subtract the same number. Geometric is now where we multiply the same number. So that's the big difference um, between the two. So go ahead, see what's going on with, um, with these, and, and hopefully, um, hopefully you understand the difference between the two. Um, here's our last slide. Uh, what option would you choose? Use math to prove it. Um, again, here, it's kind of another fun problem that I think you guys, you know, could look at and try right here. It says you're paid by the hour. Your boss offers you $30 an hour to landscape this property. You'll work for eight hours a day and it'll take you 28 days to complete. Um, so you can either choose that one or you can choose to be paid a cent for the first day, two cents for the second day, four cents. So essentially he's doubling your pay every time and, and he'll do that for 28 days. Um, this is kind of a fun problem. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to, um, 
uh, I'd like you to try it. And then maybe when we get together um, for um, uh, our math meet time, you could talk to me about what option you think is better because it's kind of a good problem. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys come up with for that one. So um, thanks for watching today. Um, you're obviously going to, you know, if you have questions, talk to me later about it. Uh, but um, try this problem. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we can talk about it later. Thanks for watching.